Directly connecting the ES1 to your laptop is easy with Novar's new Web Start functionality. Begin by inserting your computer's Ethernet cable into the secondary or LAN2 port of the ES1 and the other end into your laptop's Ethernet port. On your laptop at the bottom right of Windows, you should see an Ethernet icon as shown. If it is not there, it may be found in the tab folder to the left. Find this icon and right click on it for the option to Open Network and Sharing Center. Your network and sharing center will open displaying your various connections. Locate the wired Ethernet icon and left click on the word Ethernet to open your Ethernet status box. Once here, left click on Properties. From the Ethernet Properties box, choose Internet Protocol Version 4. TCPIP v4 and double click on it. From these settings, change the selection from obtain an IP address automatically to use the following IP address. Please note that after you are finishing accessing the ES1, you may want to return to the setting and change your configurations back to automatic. After choosing use the following IP address, you must match the first three digits of the address to the controller you want to connect to and the fourth digit must be unique. It cannot match the device you want to connect to. For example, if your device is addressed 15.20.25.30, you must set your device to 15.20.25.x, where x is any digit but 30. In this example, we're connecting to an ES1 with the address 10.15.60.2. So I will randomly assign 75 as my final digit. The subnet mask should always be 255.255.255.0, and the gateway should always be left blank. Please note, if you do not know the address of the ES1, it may be found through the platform option of the LCD, or you may be supplied it by your vendor or project manager. It will vary by device and location. Press OK in the Internet Protocol Settings box, and press OK again in the Ethernet settings box and click Done in the Ethernet status box to save and exit. From here, you may open any browser. On this computer, I have both Google Chrome and Microsoft Internet Explorer. I will use Microsoft Explorer just as an example, but either option will work. In the Internet dialog box, type the address of the ES1 you are connecting to, followed by forward slash login. This will bring you to the Novar web-based login screen. Traditionally, you would enter your user credentials here, and if your Java versions are all up to date and matching the ES1's files, you're free to do that. But in this exercise, we will be clicking the smaller link below to access the Java Web Start option. Java Web Start allows any computer to connect to the Opus web navigation, regardless of which versions of Java reside on your computer. This is achieved by the ES1 containing all necessary files and temporarily placing them on your computer for access. There is no permanent install on your machine, and you will be prompted each time you connect if you wish to run the startup files. Left click on the Click Here message to continue. The first page is a notice that you will be required to download a JNLP file. This file resides on the ES1 and must be installed to continue. You can click on the link to begin the download, or if auto-populated as it is here, left-click on Open to continue. When the next dialog pops up asking for permission for the Java runtime environment, click Allow. A new dialog for a web applet.jar file will pop up next. Select I accept and left-click on Run. The next pop-up will be for your username and password to the ES1. In this example, I will be using Training1 as my login. Your login will be different and should be provided by your vendor or project manager. Login using your credentials and the Novar Opus software will launch. Please refer to the Novar Opus manual or other online videos for more information in regards to navigating Opus.